Now, I'm going to be tying this fly. This is a an adult midge. Uh, in this case, it's a black adult midge. Now, yesterday I uploaded a video, and uh, it was on a, an olive adult midge, and I put a photograph of the black version up. There's the olive, and I put a photograph of the black one up, and a lot of people were saying, "Do I have the dressing?" And obviously, I gave the dressing to them. But some people say, could any chance I could dye it? I went, no, no problem, I'll do that. And the other question I got asked was, could you dye it in a, a barber suit? So, I mean, same set of wire, a nice light wire. And I like to use this one. This is from Fully Mill. It's a check now from Black Nickel, or you could use the bronze one. It's up to yourself. Uh, I'm using the black, so it, it helps with the colour. Uh, it's a lovely hook. This is a size 14. I would say it's more like a 12 than a 14, but midge this time of year, size 12 is a good size. Now, thread, I'm just going to use the uni thread, the needle, and white, so wax the thread. I'm just going to start my way down, just like I did the, the olive, and I stop in line with the point of the hook. And the way down, I catch in a fine silver wire. Now, you could use a pearl rib or something like that, or slightly flatter, but I'm just going to use the silver wire, and this is a, a extra or a small, or you, if it's vineyards, it's number 27. So I'll come down, and I'm going to form a small tag with the white thread at the back. I'm going to go down a bit and come back up, because of the black hook, I'm going to need to thicken it up slightly. That's fine. I've got the dyed black pheasant tail fibre, you're looking around about half a dozen fibres and to remove them obviously bring them 90 degrees from the stem like there and you'll see they're all lined up, tear them off, if they've lined up the tips will be lined up. So we hold the butt ends, we come round with a single turn, where we pull this into the point and then we carry one up to align with the point of the hook. Now, pheasant tail fibre is the weakest fibre, so to protect that, I'm going to wind the wire the normal way, in the same way I wind the thread. I'm going to wind the pheasant tail the opposite way. By doing that, you're basically, when you're winding or counter, counter ribbing the, the pheasant tail fibre, it, grib, it gets a hold of it, and you'll see the rib as well, because it's crossing over, rather than sitting into these turns. Now what we do to tie off, we just come across the pheasant tail fibre with a turn, and then a turn on top, onto the hook. Do the same again, and we do it three times. And then we can take away the waist. Bring the rib up, as I say, this is going to protect the pheasant tail. Do a turn onto the, the tag. You're looking around about, around about five to six turns. As you can see, because you're counter ribbing the pheasant tail, you can actually see the, the, the silver wire. Now if you had wound the pheasant tail the same way, it would sit into the, the, the fibres and you'd hardly see it, and it wouldn't grip them as well. So I'm just making sure that's secure, then bend away, break off the wire. We've got our mirage, opal mirage. In this case it's a large version, it's a large size. So, it's on my desk here. And you catch this in. Put it on top. Get it to sit right. Oops, pulled it out. Make sure it's on the top. Just look from the top down. That's fine. Make sure it's secure. And then come up. And when you tie in the wings. Now you could use grizzle. You could use white. Which will work. You can use grey. Tie it up to sell. There's, there's many wing tips you could give the impression for this for black. Now in the photograph I used the grey one so that's what I'm going to do. This is just a basic Indian neck, cock neck and it was like a a grizzly cree and I dyed it grey. It's a, it's a good colour. So I need to take them off. These small feathers at the bottom are ideal for for wings. I've got two here now. 
the length, you're looking just to the back of the hook. Set them on the top. Now I'm going to make a space. Not exactly on the area where I'm going to tie it, but basically, so I've got a wee bit of fibre around it. It looks nice when you get some of the fibre, plus it catches in better. So there's my measurement, which is looking down from the top. We'll come in with a finger and thumb and hold them basically on the sides. Just come round, there's a couple of turns, or through, or three, so have a look at the length. See how they're sitting. Checking the length. Just a wee tad longer, I'm just going to go back. It's really easy to go back. Come back in, two or three turns again. You can always come over or pull over your thorax cover just to see how they're sitting. That looks fine, it's a wee bit better. We trim away the waist, not up close, I'm using them halfway down the thorax so I can tie it in. Make sure that's nice and tight. And then come back up. See where we are, that's fine. Now when the olive I used uh, an orange, a hot orange, now you can use it on this because it does work. But just the, uh, I'm going to use, in this case, number four, the glow bright floss. I'm just going to use it. Just pull it off. Just a single length. You could double up if you want, but a single's fine. Now this is a handy thing about the, the white as well, the white thread. It will help obviously brighten or keep the floss nice and bright. If you were winding on black thread it would just dull it right down. And there we are, let's go in, I'm happy with that. Turn away, tidy this up. Leave yourself plenty of room at the eye, give yourself a good head, at least a good millimetre from the eye, because you've got a hackle to tie in. So come back up. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm using a Sharpie pen, in this case black. I'm just going to darken the thread for the black. I'm using a black seals fur. It's a blend of seals fur and light bright. I'll just show you. It's just a bit of seals fur and a bit of rainbow light bright. There's other companies do a rainbow version or a rainbow type flash. You don't need to take, I mean, just put black on it if you, that's all you've got. Or even Peacock Herald's Ideal dyed black. It's nice. It works. Just going to build up a kind of thorax. You may come into the the red tiny a wee bit. I'll still show through. Happy with that? Um, that's enough. I'm just going to then pull back any fibres going forward with the thread and there we are. I'm just going to make a space here for my opal mirage to come over. Just bring it over the top. Just checking everyone's where you want it. That's fine. Now before we obviously do that we're going to put in a hackle. Just a, this is a hen hackle. It's just a, again, it's, just a, it's a cheap one. This is just an Indian hen. Just to show you that you don't always need top of the range, but it's it's good having, like, if you've got, say, like a white hen, you've got a really long feather, you can get a lot more out of it. But with these feathers, you might only get maybe one or two, depending how good they are. And plus you probably need a, instead of a single turn, you, you probably need two or three turns, but that's fine. So we catch that in by the tip, you can, either end is good. Just going to use my hackle pliers. Most times I just use my fingers, but you'll not see what I'm doing if I use my fingers. So we do a turn round. Stroking the fibres back. There's a turn, I'm just going to do a, basically a turn and a half or so. For this size of fly, catch it in, three or four turns. Just gonna let the hackle go. And you fold it back. Just stroke any fibres that's going forward with the eye, stroke them back and then use the thread turns to basically fold hold them back out of the way. And you can break that away. Cut it away, it's up to yourself. Now I'm gonna make a space for the thorax cover. You can see it's on the top here, I can just bring it over. I'm just gonna get a wee, a wee stretch. Turns it a wee bit blue, which works. Tapers it. You can see there. Catch the light. 
pull that back and then we just form the head with the white thread. So you don't need to use white thread, you could use fire orange or uh, there's a lot of other colours you could use, chartreuse. It's up to yourself, I'll just use black, but as I say I'm using the white. That gives an impression of the, what I would say is the breathers, or the, the midge. So, just wet finish, trim away your thread. Just catch the edge of the mirage and you'll see how it tears. So you get a nice neat, a neat cut. And there we go. And that's the, your adult midge in black. Some varnish, put some varnish on the fly. Touch the head, or touch the head. Now you could use a resin on the thorax cover. It's up to yourself if you want to do that. I've done it many a time myself. But I'll just keep it as it is. Varnish is just a wee touch heavy. You could do with thinning it down. But anyway, put it on. Just a piece of wire here lying on my desk. I'll just clean the eye out. Just clean the eye or clean the wire out front. And there we go. And that's the black version of your adult midge that uh, a lot of people ask for. And I hope. I know it's the same pattern, it's the same as the olive. Tied the same way, just different colours, obviously. Uh, as I say, it's up to your own imagination. A lot of midge patterns out there, you could tie them to any colour. I mean, I've done them claret, fiery brown, dark brown. There's, you name the colours, there's, there's midge there that will be that colour somewhere. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and as I say, if you're happy with the videos and stuff, subscribe, uh, it does help, so have a great day, and if you give this a go, especially this time of year, I'm sure you'll not go far wrong.